Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Thank you to the committee of the 20th Asia Tafel, the 68th Taflin, and the 5th Inel Tal 2022 Indonesia. In this nice occasion, I am Ianatul Afifa and my friend Nur Laili Lupitasari from Universitas Bilfat Lamongan would like to present our research under the title Perceptions and Challenges of Utilizing LMS in EFL Classes Amid COVID-19 Outbreak. This presentation will be structured as follows. First, background. Second, problems. Third, literary review. Fourth, methodology. And last but not least, results. First and foremost, Learning management systems, web-based system which allow teachers and students to perform the teaching and learning online, have been commonly used by a lot of educational institutions, especially higher education. Moreover, in this COVID-19 pandemic, the teaching and learning processes are supposed to integrate online-based learning as a way to prevent the spread of virus. Consequently, LMS has been popularly used as a tool to help teachers regulate their teaching at a distance. Universitas Bilfat becomes one of the higher educational institution which integrates LMS, which is Moodle, to facilitate e-learning. However, this use of LMS needs more research to enhance the online learning. We did a preliminary research and it revealed that Lecturers found some difficulties using e-learning. In fact, teachers' perceptions have a decisive turning point on the successful implementation of model-based learning. Thus, this study aims to explore the lecturers' perceptions and challenges of integrating Moodle in EFL classes at Universitas Bilfat during COVID-19 outbreak. The researchers identified two big problems to be addressed. First, what are the lecturers' perceptions of integrating Moodle in EFL learning during pandemic? Second, what challenges the lecturers pose in utilization of LMS Moodle in EFL classes? Talking about literary review, there have been a lot of studies investigating how the teachers value the use of LMS provided by university systems. These studies reveal that the concern of the teachers in using LMS lies on its usefulness. Unfortunately, there has been only a small number of research whose focal point is to investigate LMS model in EFL learning. Thus, the present study explored more extensively on the teachers' perceptions and challenges of Moodle in relation to ELT. This study was devised as a qualitative research employing interview and survey approach. To generate data, this research employs questionnaires and semi-structured interview. Regarding the responses of questionnaires and interview, this study used a thematic analysis, one of the analytic approaches to analyze the qualitative data. Okay, so next we move to the results. Here we have the perceptions and then the challenges. So first we talk about the perception. Uh, they are consist of five aspects. The first one is perceived is of use or PEU. The second is perceived affordances or PA. The third is teacher's involvement. Fourth, teaching effectiveness. And the five is teacher innovativeness. Okay, so first is perceived is of use. Uh, about 57.2 of lecturers perceive that LMS model is not easy to use. So, uh, it does not allow the teacher to modify the interface among the student in online environment because it has limited interactive feature. Here from the interview excerpt, uh, it will be highly helpful if the interface can be simpler. So, university could do a workshop for lecturer for using e-learning and so the lecturers can do more with it as can be a good idea to make the lecturers understand on how to use it for the teaching and learning process. The second one is the perceived affordances. Uh, about 
of lecturers recognize that the model afford both teachers and students with the accessibility, course management, and collaborative learning. However, uh, the model does not allow lecturers to manage online assessment with a grading system. Next is the teacher's involvement. So about 42.9% of lecturers believe that it should be referred to a particular e-learning model. So half of the lecturer perceive that they have no control over using e-learning for the teaching process because uh, the use of e-learning are required from the faculty boards. And next is the teaching effectiveness. About 28.6 of lecturers maintain that by using e-learning, they could create an active learning environment. So here, the practical implementation, however, did not meet all of this expected learning outcome. So uh, according to the interview excerpt, uh, student perceive e-learning is a great tool for learning online. However, they often face difficulty using e-learning. And then it can really affect how students involved in learning and how they can meet the learning objective. And the last one, uh, teacher innovativeness. Here are 71.4% of lecturers are willing to experiment with current technologies for English language teaching. So uh, obtaining from the interview except teacher needs to learn a lot and to be more creative to make this tool more potential for effective ELT. Okay, and then we move to the challenges. Uh, here, the challenges are the deficiency of experience in convenient system, learnings, learners engagement, assessment, motivation, and technical support. So here, because uh, due to the lack of information to how use it as for a new lecturer, can be a problem since they have to learn first on their own. Um, but sometimes uh, the lecturers solve it by asking to their colleagues who know how to use it. And then we come to the conclusion. So all of the EFL lecturers perceive that the usefulness of LMS model outweighs the challenges. However, university should really provide some helpful life tutorial to make the most of model for learning. And here are the references. And that's it for our presentation. Thank you.